Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. So in this video tutorial, we're going to see the array of structures. So when we create a variable of a structure, let's say struct student Anil, then we can store the information of Anil only. Let's say you want to store the information of around 100 students or 500 students. At that time, you know, creating 100 variables and storing the information in that variables is not going to be the convenient method. So for that purpose, you can use this array of structures. So now, for the demonstration purpose, um, I have created a structure definition here. You know, this uh, structure is going to be named student and uh, this name and roll number are the members of this structure student. So in this uh, main function, I'm going to create the array of structure student it's gonna be struct then uh, student that's the structure name then the variable name let's call it as s then uh, the size we we have to specify how many uh, uh, how many students information you want to store if you want to store the information of around 100 students specify it as 100 here 500 students then specify as 500 but here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create an array of structures of uh, size 3 so I'm gonna create a variable called size and uh, I'm gonna assign it the value 3 and here uh, within the square brackets I'm gonna specify the size here so this statement is gonna create the array of 3 students so now we're gonna ask the user to enter the name and roll number of students for that purpose we're gonna use a for loop for uh, before that we need a counter variable let me create it as a counter so here within this for loop we have to initialize this it's going to be counter equal to zero then counter is less than size that's because you know array numbering starts from zero and uh, the last element will be stored at the uh, position one less than the size then we have to increment our uh, counter variable so now uh, within this for loop we're gonna ask user to enter uh, the information uh, I'm gonna say enter the name and uh, roll number of student percentage D and I'm gonna refer counter then plus one that's because you know when this counter becomes zero this printf statement will write uh, enter the name and roll number of the student one you know just for making the user interface a bit more interesting you know we're just uh, adding this printf statement then i'm going to use the scanner function to receive the input first we are receiving the name that's going to be percentage s then we are receiving the roll number it's going to be percentage d uh, a comma now we have to specify where we want to store the data which is received from the user so we want to store it in this array s that's why i'm going to write s here then within the square brackets we have to specify the position we want to store the first value at the position zero that's why i'm going to refer counter here so this counter is going to loop through all the array positions then in which member you want to store in that uh, you know structure so here i want to store store the name in the uh, structure member name that's why i'm going to write name then we are receiving an integer value that's why i have to write uh, ampersand here then uh, s of uh, counter dot uh, roll number so this is it you know we are writing this ampersand here no, that's because uh, we are receiving an integer value and uh, while receiving a string value uh, it's not necessary to include the ampersand if you want to you can uh, include it otherwise you can skip it so okay I'm gonna add it no problem so now this uh, scanner function is gonna re read the values which are entered by the user and it's gonna store it in the in this uh, array s so to retrieve the values from the from this array I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste it here it's gonna be counter equal to zero counter less than the size counter plus plus uh, no space here counter plus plus then uh, here we're gonna say printf and 
let me indent name percentage s add a tab then write uh, roll number percentage d add a new line and um, here we have to refer uh, you know the values it's going to be s that's the array name and the position from 0 to size minus 1 then the member name is going to be name and uh, let me copy this and paste it here dot roll number before that uh, let me add a printf statement here and let's add a new line you know just for uh, making the output prettier let's add two new line no problem save it compile it and run it so as you can see here enter the name and roll number of student one so i'm gonna write anil separate by a tab then i'm gonna write the roll number let's say 23 hit enter enter the name and roll number of student 2 let's say tilak then separate by a tab then uh, the roll number let's say 24 hit enter enter the name and roll number of student 3 okay let's say rashmit separate by a tab then uh, the roll number let's say 22 hit enter name anil roll number 23 name tilak roll number 24 name rashmit roll number 22 so that's because you know we are storing the, all this information entered by the user in this uh, uh, structure array yes then uh, uh, we are uh, retrieving the values which are stored in that array uh, here by using this for loop so this is it this is how we can uh, um, create an array of structure and uh, save the values in that and retrieve the values from the structure so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial